This optional feature utilizes radar at the front of the vehicle to detect other vehicles or obstacles. When the adaptive cruise control is engaged, the feature adjusts the speed of your Audi to maintain a safe preset distance from other vehicles in front of you. If there is no traffic ahead of you, the adaptive cruise control maintains your set speed. Once slower traffic is encountered, the vehicle will reduce throttle or automatically apply brakes to maintain the preset safe distance. Then, once traffic is clear, the adaptive cruise control will accelerate to your preset speed. It is important to note the adaptive cruise control will only detect forward moving vehicles and will not detect deer and other wildlife or stationary objects such as parked vehicles and debris that may have come to rest on the road. To engage the adaptive cruise control, pull the cruise control lever forward to the on position and accelerate to the desired speed. Press the set button located at the end of the cruise control lever. Look for the cruising speed to be displayed in the driver information system. To adjust your cruising speed, simply tip the cruise control lever up to increase the speed or tip the lever down to decrease the speed. To set your preferred detection distance, use the toggle switch on the top of the cruise control lever. Press it to the left to decrease the distance and to the right to increase the distance. To deactivate the system, press the brake pedal or push the cruise control lever to the cancel or off positions. The system will also be deactivated when the gear selector is put in P, N, or R positions or if the ESP system is active. The adaptive cruise control will also deactivate once the vehicle slows below 20 miles per hour, since the feature's cruise range is 20 to 95 miles per hour. Note that the Audi Q7 adaptive cruise control has a range of 0 to 95 miles per hour, and it is able to slow to a full stop and restart as needed in stop and go traffic. Once stopped, the adaptive cruise control system of the Audi Q7 will remain active for two seconds. A takeover message will be shown in the driver information display, and the driver must place their foot on the brake to keep the vehicle standing once the adaptive cruise control system is deactivated. When the vehicle in front of you picks up speed again, release the brakes and pull the cruise control lever to resume your previous settings. The adaptive cruise control function might deactivate under certain weather conditions, such as heavy rain or snow, if the sensing range of the radar sensors becomes limited. It can also deactivate when driving along a road with no traffic and no detectable objects on the side of the road. These circumstances mimic a limited sensing range and thus deactivate the sensors as a precaution. The Audi braking guard will warn the driver if a close obstacle appears in front of the vehicle. For example, if a vehicle in front slows down rapidly, the guard will warn the driver that a collision might occur if the driver does not react. The Audi braking guard feature is active when the cruise control lever is in the on position, regardless of whether the cruising speed is set or not. The warning will occur in two stages. Once an obstacle is detected, a chime will sound to alert the driver. If the chime is ignored, the brake system is activated in a quick, jerky motion in an attempt to get the driver's attention. Depending on which model you're driving, there are a variety of adaptive cruise control settings that may be adjusted, including default settings and possibly deactivation of the Audi braking guard if your vehicle is so equipped. To adjust the settings, Use the MMI system, press the car button, then go to the Audi braking guard or adaptive cruise control menus. For legal reasons, the adaptive cruise control system is not designed to employ full braking force to slow the vehicle down in order to avoid an obstacle. It is still imperative the driver maintains control of the vehicle.